Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm excited, <laughs> sorry, I'm excited about this one. I found a llama a reference photo on Pixabay. I'll link it in this video description. So I set up a traceable and put glasses on it. It's a little bit, it's not quite straight on, it's a little bit of a side view. Um, I think when you see the photo here, so this is an eight by eight traceable. I'm gonna paint it on a 12 by 12 canvas. But look at this, here, oh, come on, pop up. All right, we get it kind of, look at the, how the hair goes over one eye. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But you can see there's a little more cheek on this side than on this side, so that's how you know it's not totally straight on. Plus the ears and the eye. But anyway, isn't that just adorable? Um, actually, I think it's an alpaca. We can have a discussion about it in the comments. You guys can let me know. You you all know so many amazing things. Um, as I mentioned, I'm painting it on a 12 by 12 inch canvas from Michaels. It's my usual inch and a half thick gallery wrapped and splined. Splined means that it's got a rubber gasket stapled in here. It's just nice and neat and tucked. It's their professional level, level three. That's what the packaging looks like, if that helps you a little bit. What else? Oh, we gotta write the word love on it because that's a great way to start. This is a chalk pastel from Blick Art Materials. I don't know if you can, well, there you can kind of see it if I get it close. Oh, I don't know if it'll focus. Maybe if I put it over here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna paint my, oh, I am. I'm gonna paint my canvas kind of a yellow color um, let that dry and get the traceable on there and then um, I'll be back. Actually, what I need to say is let's have some fun. Let's catch up a little bit. So I painted the background with one part, I don't know why I held the plate up, one part yellow oxide to one part cadmium free yellow medium. <laughs> you get all the names on there. And then one part titanium white. And I just, just wanted to get color on there. I decided I kind of wanted a warm painting. And I used a two inch, uh, really inexpensive brush from Blick Art Materials. I think it came in a pack of four brushes. And we, I really like these. They're not very thick, but I like that when I'm just painting on a smaller canvas. You know, sometimes you get, you can get a house painter's brush, but sometimes they're kind of, they're kind of thick. I just happen to like the thin ones, personal preference. Um, if I didn't mention my traceables on my website, annietro.com, isn't that cute? And then if you don't want all, like I gave you some of the shadow areas, you can, uh, you don't have to use all the traceable just cause all the details on there. And now I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint like a light blue to a dark green and just kind of go straight up, straight up and down. So I'm gonna use Thalo Blue Green Shade, Titanium White. Oh here, maybe we'll see that a little better. Thalo Blue Green Shade, Titanium White. And then I'm gonna use mix a green with the yellow oxide. So that helps tie in my painting too, ties in the background. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Hey, just a couple comments. So I put out some neutral gray five on my palette to mute the blue down a little bit. And still the blue is looking a little strong to me. Here's the neutral gray five. And I put out a little black because I think I might, um, I might outline the glasses so I don't lose them. Because I can paint over them and then come back and paint them again. So, and I've also put on, um, I came back with like a smaller brush and just sort of put another layer of paint on where it was, the canvas was kind of popping when the acrylic paint shrinks, you kind of get these little specks. Sometimes I don't mind them because it's just the color below it and sometimes I don't like it. But I can still see where my glasses are. I think I might do that and just let this dry a little bit better. Uh, and then I think I'll just save this as my background palette and start a new palette because I got, got a pretty good mess going there. <laughs> so all I do is, I haven't showed this in a while, I just spritz it with a little bit of water. Um, I've actually got two plates here, two on the bottom and two on the top. One works. And then I stick it in a gallon baggie and I reuse the baggies. It sort of acts like a terrarium. It'll keep it. Um, if it's been at least... If it's been a week for sure, or a little less, I'll go in there and I'll spray it with some water, kind of moisten it up again. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. friends just a little um, break to touch base with what I'm doing so I used a little oh I don't know how little that is I, I if you've been watching my videos you know I'm gonna say something over zero because I can't read it anymore it's a little liner brush from Royal and Lang Langnickel it's their mental line to paint in the eyes um, I'm gonna paint for over them but at least it sets them in there with paint and it's darker whereas the um, the charcoal spreads and bleeds. Oh, there, see, I, where I was laying my hand on the canvas, I've got charcoal on it. <laughs> and then I also used a number one Simply Simmons to outline the glasses. And I'm, I'm gonna put fur over it. Well, actually, yeah, I, I probably will. Even though the fur is behind it on the reference photo. Here, I can kind of show you. I'm really close to my easel here, so I'm sliding in my iPad. So that in Photoshop, I just drew some simple glasses on there. Um, and I'm, I might have some hair come over. I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. But I didn't wanna lose them, so I outlined them. I'll, I'll have to do it again. I'm also thinking about making this a little thicker. And then I started putting in some of the darks in the nose. I was gonna use another palette, but I think I might make this palette work. I'm already running out of space. So I added Burnt Umber. And then I mixed Burnt Umber with some Yellow Oxide. And then I pulled a little bit of that out, put a little more Yellow Oxide in it and some white, and got this pretty creamy color. Okay, I think that's gets you up to speed. I'm not, the eyes aren't done. Um, but I thought I would use some blue. A lot of times I put blue in the eyes to kind of suggest that some of the sky is reflecting on it. Um, I think I have way too much blue right now, but I'm just getting the shapes in so I don't lose them basically. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
friends. I thought I'd pop in. So I have changed the value of this shadow a couple times. <laughs> um, and really, oh, actually, I think it might be pretty close to the reference photo. Here, let me show you. Um, let me take... Yeah, the mouth is darker than what's under the chin. So I think that is actually working better. I think that's working better. Um, and then I had a lot of shapes in here, which I paint shapes, because it's easier to find the shapes than to think, oh, how do I paint an alpaca? I'll just say, okay, there's kind of a, you know, I don't know, comma shape here, you know, kind of an oval shape there, but it's darker up here, that kind of stuff. That's how I think about it. Um, and then I wasn't liking it. I don't know, it felt like it had, there's a lot of shapes in this alpaca. Um, actually, there's one I'm kind of missing now. I kind of painted out, there's a dark one right there. Can you see that? But I might, um, ah, sorry. <laughs> I might leave that out. Cause it kind of is where the glasses are. I had it in there. And so what I did was I took some matte medium uh, you could use, pretty sure you can use extender. I would read the brand. Um, you could use gloss medium. As I've said, if you've been following me in other videos, I like the matte because it dries matte like the paint. The gloss will dry shiny. And that kind of just makes me cranky. <laughs> it might not bother you guys at all. So that's a little bit of matte medium right there. And then I mixed it with just some white and some yellow oxide. And I just glazed over the sun side right here and then I took some matte medium oh, where is it oh I think it was right here it was kind of a blue brown color I don't know oh it was right here it's almost gone and then I glazed over this side to kind of smooth out some of the shapes and when I look at my phone I'm really liking it when I'm sitting on top of it painting I don't and as I look at my phone so this alpaca, I'm going to cover up my paints here. Hang on a sec. I've got fans running and they're just drying out fast in the summertime on me. Um, sometimes the humidity will, will help keep them dry slower. So this alpaca really doesn't have any white on the side of the face here. Kind of white there, white there. I'm making this side darker, white up here on the top of the ear. I hope you can see that and white oh, on the top of this ear. So I, but I've got more white up here, so I think I might like it better if I put some white here. We'll see. I need to finish the hair. Here, let's take a little tour. You probably want to see a tour. I think the eyes are done. Well, here, let's start at the top. We'll be organized. We'll start at the top. And then I put more contrast in this ear just because I like it. The reference photo doesn't have it. I put some hairs over the glasses just to remind me I want those. Um, I've touched up the glasses. I made this a little thicker. I think in my, oh no, it's, in my trace wall I was thinking it was thick. It's not. It's the same width. But I made it a little thicker. I might make it a little thicker. And then I have several layers on the nose, but starting to look like little bits of fur. So I, a lot of times I'll just kind of go back and forth, you know, like add some white, a little bit of white or a little bit of a lighter color and I won't like it and I'll come back with some browns. <laughs> I just keep playing with it. So I think I like better at hinting at the, the fur pattern here. I've kind of had it both ways. I think I've done it both ways a couple of times. I don't know if you'll notice it in the video. There is a fur pattern that's pretty strong on the neck, but I think I like it softer. I want to call attention. Well, the glasses and the eyes will call attention. Let's see, did I show you? I'll show you this side. So I just keep, like, you can see that I, well, you saw me earlier, I just painted the, sh the shadows and I added a little bit lighter color and I just keep bringing it, bringing it up. And then I'll, I'll add more until I'm happy with it. Actually, I think this is looking pretty good right here in this little swirl. And the eye is barely there. <laughs> You're looking right up his nose now again. And I'm liking the background better. That always happens to me. 
Isn't that funny? I like it a lot better, but when I'm just looking at the background, and like this is actually some of the yellow that I originally painted the canvas coming through, and I'm looking at every little thing about it. Oh, there's a couple of spots coming through. Um, I don't like it. And then once I get the subject on there and the background pushes back, I'm like, oh, I really kind of like that. Okay, so I thought I'd just let you know that I'm doing a little glazing with some matte medium to kind of soften some of the shapes in the face. And I might do a little more of that. And I'm going to work on the hair some more. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I think I'm done. I'll look at it in my studio tonight, tomorrow, and see see what I think. It's really cute and fun. Makes me giggle. I think I'm gonna call, well, I am gonna call this Specs, Specs Appeal. I think, that, I think that'll be a great title for it. I like that I put like little dots to call out. He has even more hair than I painted in. You see all those little fuzzies? You could put more in. But I thought, I think that's enough. I love the haircut on this alpaca. It's really fun. I think that's really fun. Um, the whole reason I picked the photo. Well, and actually the green background makes it easy um, with this photo. You could just paint it green if you wanted, like the reference photo. I'll link that in this video description. What else do I want to say? It's kind of fun at the end where I kind of soften everything, soften some of the hair. You know, I had, I had more fur or hair. This looks like hair to me. It looks like a haircut. I had more fur strokes that I kind of went over. I, really, I think I really like it. You'll have to let me know what you think. <laughs> I'll have to look for more alpaca or llama photos. That was really fun. I end up darkening this just a little, put it a little bit more in shadow. Oh, and I added a few whiskers on the chin. I don't know if a lot's changed since the last time I showed you. I don't think much changed down on the neck. Oh, I might have pulled out a few softer little pieces of fur. Okay, guys, well, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was really fun for me. Um, it just makes me giggle. Thank you, thank you for the comments and the shares. That helps my channel so much. I couldn't do the, all this without you guys. It just means the world to me. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.